old. He was, he was good for a single when he was old. You could stick a five-year-old kid on him.
and then the next summer is soil and water. The soil and water part down the hall. We actually, it really is not a lot of my
Oh, and OC Hong Kong is an industry that can come in one year in October. That that look look and then that um just just the penalties and interest laws based on um late late payment of property taxes. They 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 do that kind of thing. 100% that you will correct that. And as you can see, that yeah, yeah. runs run, right, right around 130,000, maybe 132. Very, very, very consistent number. So, 130,000 is that. Yes, it is. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. They turn you out of your funds. I got that. I got that. I got that. I it's interesting um, that it actually hired this year at 2406. This is 2026, 2023, 2024, 2025. And we really, I think, thought it was going to be new or we see something like that. But as you can see, through all the salary refunds, they bought up and they were that on where we would have been to the or even like like higher. You know, you know, the supervisor of the salary. Um it, it's all all the salaries now, not not uh we'll talk about what they later, but supervisor of assessment based on a percentage of that salary. Same thing with they think you're gonna be have no public that vendor. So they 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 the refund of some of the states. So that's in that 26,000. The next number of probation salary refund that has to do with the number of cases. I talked about how you link that number of million. And then the anticipated being the same thing last year around 185,000. Uh, uh, with with the salary reimbursement, 30,000 Again, it could work one little bit, depending on what we do with, with um, the other salary. That's an example of the percentage. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he gave me a number of about 1,000, 1,990, and that's how he always remembers his car apartment, and then he'll get that debt apartment later on. Uh, the next line is refund on reimbursement, just a miscellaneous uh, reimbursement, or overpayment that that comes in. If we receive it after the end of the year, then it goes to refund on reimbursement. If we take the overpay and pay the other half of the current year, it will go to wherever that is at that time. But coming right away, we're going to have to get a refund on reimbursement. But coming right away, we're going to have to get a refund on reimbursement. But coming right away, we're going to have to get a refund on reimbursement. But coming right away, we're going to have to get a refund on reimbursement. Uh, the, next the next couple of lines, lines are, are rent, rent and then the interior is going to have rent and, and farm, farm services, services rent, rent that, that um, you have to do any AA down the hall, that's in here, you're going to be able to have that six months under, um, 9-9-1-1 rent, rent. That, that was the rule last year, the five line on month, that's last, so that, that, that number just came in, in. the administrator rent, rent, rent is it, all, all the other miscellaneous rent that we have here. Um, champagne to the way we uh, uh, volunteer services uh, to start. start. So those are in the area, and I left the class, um, and the management committee is going to address that in yeah, August, so, so it, it could, depending on what they do, they change a little bit, and it is legally changed on some purpose. Right, right now, that's flat, 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 whatever it is. A lot, a lot of those three are out, out, out um, on other services. With your life licenses, that the number comes from the family insurance, the five time renters. And the registration fee is, you can see, I dropped that at like $21,000. It's $7,000, but he's paying at $90,000. Now this year, well, that's not for two reasons. One, look at this year's trend. $7,000 is what we're spending at, instead of the $9,995 that we're not at. Which, which is surprising because this is the first year we really allow most of your ads. So, so here, here we would expect to be a month. She's supposed to be able to buy a year ad than the three-point one year ad. So you can see lots of people with one year ad. Here, 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 so that, that may be a question. Um, yeah, yeah, stop, 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 Starting this year, when you took your dog or, or um, his back vaccination, it, it's a lot of it as a veterinarian, um, and, and then they sent it to us. And, and they gave them um, healthy who were in the animal control office, which is right, right down in the front of the office. Then the sheep also did this, let's say, there are a lot of people who still come in in here. here. Or let's, let's say they go to a vet outside of our area, maybe in Indiana, okay? And, 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 and they don't have to pay. Then you would just bring your head in here and, and pay. And, and there, there are still there are people who do come in here. Maybe I'd like to see people that come in and pay their own license to see here. So, so she does it um, a way to be hot that she would be able to do a great job on this. But it all goes through the animal control office, which is right in front of the office, um, in the old building office. And then she accounts for it all, logs and everything. Where we always 
that that is so worth it, it it would completely destroy the local creativity. To put it on the red X means whenever my life to work up, you get a letter from the other drama saying, come take your key. Your life to and, and so they, they were completely disappointed. You, you could hear your dog vaccinated at any time in your life. Now, now one thing that has not been happening is um, in, in the treasurer's office, office, they were, were very, very um, diligent about sending them to the district clerk, and it is not a lean with file, but they would put a judgment and send them to people houses. For, for on the license and in this move that has not happened. The sometimes we talk to you about that. That has not happened. Right, right, right. And, and I, I never really knew people who to sell their house and couldn't sell their hand. It's all the license TV three years or three years. I mean, we were very diligent about it. And there was a lot of work that, that went into that. It is such a task, but at the same time, I mean, they were on, and they had a process, and then they followed it. Um, right, 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 that is not happening. Can we read your head after that? Well, that is not happening. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
we flip back to Clyde's maintenance page, um, the telephone, you can see I itemized all our phone bills there of what they're running down in the lower left-hand corner, um, each of our um, each of our accounts, uh, Centrex, State Attorney Fax, Voice Over Internet, Long Distance. Um, I know what those numbers are. We've got our contracts in place for next year, so I just put in what those are printing. So that comes to 45600 um, You can see we've taken hmm, almost about $8,000 out of that line over the last three years, so we've done good at holding costs on that one. Um, electricity, I added in 80000 for the budget. Uh, we had 70 of this year, but it's looking like we're going to outpace that. Last year was 80, so I thought that was pretty good. The two years before that, 76 and 78, so we're really pushing that $80,000. Okay. 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 That is the one, if you look at that number, that is just doubled over the last two years for some reason. Um, that I put in a budget of 14. This year we're pacing at 13. Last year was 14, so um, it's just been extremely high. And then natural gas heating, 40,000. Um, again, you can see we got a new contract in 2015 that took our um, cost from 14 from about 55,000 down to 33 last year, or yeah, 33 last year, this year is pacing at 36, so I put in a number of 40. So we're going to have to do more of the you know. Right. Well, and, and you wonder if the roof, wasn't this roof supposed to have some insulation in this foam roof? If that's not helping, you have just a little bit of insulation up there. I don't know. Um, if you want to turn the page, so his total, the total for maintenance department is two hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. If you turn the page on the capital improvements, Clyde talked about his heat pump. Um, the rest of this, this was all signed by the management committee at their last meeting. They've also um, put in a request for a parking lot reseal at the courthouse for $20,000. Um, yeah, just the, court, just the courthouse jail is $20,000. The last time, you can see the last time that was done was 2014 for a cost of $17,000. The front back stair repair, um, I just talked to Larry on the 20th, so last week. He tells me this $5,000 number when I asked, he told me the number was $5,000 and I asked him if that was all, why wouldn't he just put it in his repair line in his department, in the sheriff's department. He said, no, that's only phase one of three phases. and. That sheriff said he only wanted to put in $5,000 worth of repairs because he knows money is tight. So that it sounds like in total the project they're anticipating costing $15,000 and um, they're requesting to do $5,000 next year. And then the courthouse ejector pump replaced an estimate of $7,500 which is capital improvements total for the year of $77,500. The cash for this typically comes from to fund the um, capital improvements comes from the farm fund. I got a question. On these heat pumps, uh, we get budgeted uh, $45,000 to be done in the Nothing. 
it's not up here. But even with that fifty thousand out, it leaves us with close to two hundred thousand dollars in this fund. We could take a hundred, which is what we did this last year for the current year, uh, to help fund the general fund.
No, no, no. 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 I don't believe Yeah, and we went down to 
So, John, that's who we have to be. Joe Anthony is the new guy. It might say the word for the All right. Thank you all so much. Have a good day. Ready, Greg? You're up next. So next we have uh, Greg Murphy from Regional Office of Education. And this is a line item. Where this ends up is a line item in the other department. So it's a one for one. So um, whatever this is directly feeds into our general fund uh, budget line. They have their own budget, right? Uh, yes, Greg has his own budget. But this, the bottom line number that Greg is going to request from Iroquois County is a line item on the general fund budget, an expenditure line item. Do you have any more No. You're on. Um, is, is this the sheet that I'm you presenting to the joint? The joint head? I'm not, Dale sent it to me, so I'm not sure if that's I just didn't know if we were talking to the same. Yep. Is that what you mean? Okay. 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 I didn't know what I should bring and what you have in your home. Okay. Okay.
one change that we're going to have as we respond to this year in the past. Um, we have shared space with the school district, 111, at the 308 exit, and they're actually vacating the facility. Um, it's a bridge meeting that we'll be with Sharon maintenance um, for our Trinity services for our professional development and for our life education center. We're now having to look at more of our responses. So we did put uh, $10,000 in a line item for me on that building. And then the last place for this change is from the supplies and materials on the maintenance. And that's a $10,000 change. In the past, it has been in the county and the levy. Uh, and it's been in the county and 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 the um, hang on. No, that's okay. Let me just pull it up. Sorry. I've got a question. Yeah. On your trip case workers, how many people were involved in that for the 70,000? Um, 70,000. That's covering 2.18 FTE. We have a staff. Or an expected FTE. Yeah. yeah. Workers, yeah. Okay. So we actually have a staff of, I don't know, say, uh, seven case workers. There's a new map with one that's committed to the airport county and we have the others in the county. That's based on, on population. The other, the other programs of this year where the golf program that's running in the Shelton building is for our um, alternative high school program for students that aren't able to talk about their credit position and the graduation. You're running that program right now with a full-time teacher and a student, and you're still going to come by students going through that program, which for us is a really good staff and a student ratio in that population. So you can graduate? They do graduate. They actually graduate from the high school when they do that program. So it's very much focused on training students that otherwise want to be successful. <laughs> well, we could do it up. <laughs> They're not at home. Yeah. We could leave the students that traditionally aren't in school. Your increase, the increased number is $8,400. Yeah. It goes from $73,908 to $82,304. It's the change in request for this year. I forgot to tell everyone I made coffee this morning knowing that was going to be a long morning. Where, where's that line right now? It is in the other department, department number 615, which I think we're going to get to tomorrow. But that is... Um, um, right, but that is a expenditure line. There's no addition to our levy for that. And so. It is an expenditure line in the general fund budget. It's a one for one. That's it. And then this is a line item for that. The two boards are negotiating the same line item. Uh, in the end, we are not requesting any more than the ratio we have in the past. And it's just gotten to the point where that's not so we can do it. So Pardon me, I understand, but what I don't want to do, I want to respect the I 
you you're aware. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't know if that's good for you or bad for you. I just always like to remind you so you don't lose sight of it. Okay. I'll I'll never say it. It was one of those that fast flows so slow on the other and I that I yeah. don't think of the But I I figured our position on ten nine would be the same piece. It it's very tight. I mean blow it up. We're sitting the Iowa was the month that that we're still in. Have you had a hearing in the area? Uh, not yet. Well, which is always interesting. You, Iroquois County almost always is uh, early. We may not have that. Um, so. That's a pretty good question. Yeah. I kind of like that. And this thing is almost earlier. No, it's the same week. Yeah. But I'd like it to be done. Yeah. So, well, we have to punish them. That's the other yeah. one. Yeah. The December will be here. And to not know when it's December, what the hours will be. So, so very good. Look forward to it. We don't approve ours so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it's kind of like a It doesn't matter to me, however you guys want to do it. You can take a break for that. I'll go ahead and take a break. I'll stay on track. That's true. That's the girl. Okay. Your next sheet is corner. If you turn the page, she's the next one up. Oh, you only got six lines. It can't be bad. Where is that? Okay. All right. I'll agree with that. What I had proposed to um, the same as last, uh, last year. Um, <laughs> and to be real honest with you, you can see our autopsy line item is way, way low. <coughs> We're trying to keep that control. So there might be a chance that, you know, the community has talked about, you know, using the money there, get uh, five off the bat. Um, you know, really, Gas and oil education and dues. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we've got an, we've got this automation fund that uh, that works that I have from the uh, creation permit. Last year we did it with autopsy. I mean, we were we, we ran over, but we had to record about four grand out of the last year uh, to keep the other uh, budget from last year, which we did for this year. So, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, those two are kind of, uh, can all be taken out of that automation fund with the data that's not that great. So, uh, you know. Now, my one question that I do have, and I need to talk to you about this, is I've been doing this for 15 years, and <coughs> my, my deputy has been at this out which, I mean, basically 3,000, and 250 more. What I'd like to do, I mean, even if I could take out my automation fund, whatever, I'd like to give those guys $500 a piece, right? I mean, that was 14 years, I think. You know, the 250 dollars you want, they may take out of that, you know. They don't do it because of the money, they do it because they want it, they like it, you know, because they like it. So anyway, uh, that's the one thing that I think. So that line will go from $6,000 to $7,000? $7,000. Okay. Yeah, well, I think it was basically Well, when I'm gone, uh, when I'm gone, uh, they cut the point. And I asked them every other week um, when, I'm, when, I, when I'm on duty or if my weekend is off. Other 
you know, well, everybody you know, you know, especially when you, you know, you go out on an accident, you go to KBC, you come home the next day, you go up from your other house to the back. I mean, you know, really, that's the only time you have to go in pain for it. Right. Do you have to do autopsies on these overdoses? Yeah. We have a lot of them. I'm interested in three visits to bring them back. Anything on that? Yes. How many do we have to participate? Over and over? I think we've had, we've only had five, but I mean, there's probably been seven or eight in this day. In fact, there was a girl who had to over those. So what they did is, I said, we want to have to go. Well, that's my uh, aunt's grandson.
Thank you. 
you never know. Sorry.
that is the, uh, what we use to match federal funds with. Uh, same deal as far as the income side. I've got one, uh, one major project coming in. But I should have to have to pay for it the next year. The, uh, which should be about to report. Oh, no, except for the fact that I've been spending about 12 times. 
picture anywhere. Not at all. Without one of them, I don't know if that's what I think any is here. I'm not sure you can figure out what they're going to do. How do they do it? 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 How much do you think? I don't want to think about how much weight is going across all the road. Five years ago, you would have never saw a 350,000 pound load going across the state. How many of you would have seen? They got a bunch of them. They got a bunch of them. Some of them are going to be happening. You used to never see that kind of load permitted. I don't know what it was. They didn't have the equipment to do it. The equipment got so much better than the specialized load boards. I don't know. But I've seen more of them than I've seen. I would have said it would be long to run them. budget of 3540 which I was pacing at our $34 a case, 
to 3,300, so a 7% reduction. I'm just planning on using more specials and trying to find what we can. System expense, the issue here, I left it at 1,500. The problem is, this is like miscellaneous things that go out, small things. Essentially, 1,500 is one workstation. If, say, there's one computer either in the finance office or assessment or zoning, really that's the only two places without automation that would cover it. Power supplies, something like that. Any kind of miscellaneous, a switch, that, a switch would be anywhere. Any switch goes out within the network, it would come out of here. So um, there's 1,500 in there. I obviously spent all of it for this year. In 2015, we had $16,000 worth of expenses. In 2014, we had $12,000 worth of expenses. In 2013, 8400 So you can see what we did last year. We gutted that thing. I left it gutted. It's really going to be, it's just, what do I want to say, a gamble. Something will break and we won't have the money budgeted. But we've been lucky so far this year, so I guess I'm hoping we can be lucky next year. Mileage is Google. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. But when I look at the numbers, there's, you know, I guess somebody's got to take a hard line and say, we really can't afford that. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm more worried this year than I am I have that. There's just nowhere for it to come from. Education and dues and mileage, you can see I either held flat. I have to take my education and dues. I dropped travel by 43%, saying hopefully from 1,500 to 1,000. I got to continue to look to online classes to try to save at least the travel expense. The um, education and do that's minus, um, yeah, education and do 1800. I dropped that from 1825. You can see the list there. I've got $2,000 in classes identified. I'll just cut something to try and get what I can. Here's the big one, and this is the problem. Software contract licenses. Really, it's, and it's DevNet, Avila, which is finance. And you can see, I itemized it right here, down in this lower right-hand corner, um, left-hand corner. Um, Netwatch antivirus. There's an SSL, a, a security license for the email server, 200. Um, that's gone up slightly every year. DevNet support, we're still under contract with that. That's 23250 The Avila support and grant management support, that's our finance accounting software. It goes up about 10% every year. So this year was 7900 and grant management was 900 So when I add 10%, it's $8,700 and $1,000. Shelter Pro annual support, that was new in FY15. The old um, software, dog software, was $900 to $1,000 a year. This one's a little more expensive. It's $2,000 a year, but it is a better, it's a better program, so it makes sense. And we do call pretty often. It's relatively new, so we call our support line pretty often when we first the MS, the server, um, Microsoft Office server and support uh, was 6,500 in FY16 at 10% and it's 7,122 for next year. Now, the next one, two, three, four lines. These all relate to the servers, um, except for, look, that SAN warranty. Uh, firewall warranty is two year support. The other three, the virtual host, the backup server, and the SAN warranty. That server project was three years ago. 
well, it will be next year, with two years now, but three years ago, they all came with a three-year warranty. All those warranties will expire next year, and we will have to purchase warranties. Um, so you can see there, these are the actual numbers right now. The virtual host, $6,000. The backup server, $824. The fan warranty, $2,000. The firewall warranty, that is two years old. That is a year and a half now. It'll run out in February. That came with a two-year support. To renew that, $5,000. So those four lines are all new warranty contracts required $13,800. For it. For it. Exchange server support, it was $721 in FY16, we put in $750. The next item, we are, these are the things that um, got gutted last year. I put them in again this year. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how we can do it. Server maintenance and patch management, they will do that for $10 a month for 18 servers, so $2,000 for the year. Spam defense, <coughs> this is a real number, we do need this. We have it this year, and the cost is $325 a month per user. That is a number that needs to stay in for next year, uh, $4,674. The price of that goes up. In January, they're not going to start charging us a higher rate until September. <coughs> so that $4,600 includes three months of a higher rate. It goes up to like $450, 450 a computer after September of next year. Email <coughs> accessing and encryption. Um, that is uh, um, That is a new item that they recommended last year. We didn't do it. They're recommending it again this year. It's about $4 uh, workstation per month. That comes out to $2,757. <coughs> workstation management, what that is, is right now, Barry White would take care of all the updates to all our workstations. And right now what happens is we all get a notice when we have an update, like a Microsoft update or a Dell update. And then it's up to each user to go out and download it from the vendor and then upload it to your computer. There's two issues with that. One, you have all these people going out you really want them deciding what's a valid update and what is not. Right, there's risk in that. It is a huge drag on our bandwidth. On Tuesdays, when the Microsoft updates come out, the uh, bandwidth usage maxes out. But the issue becomes, let's say somebody is it's maxing out, somebody's frustrated. Instead of going through the update process and being updated, they, they just turn their workstation off and they don't do the update. Now you have users that haven't updated and some of those updates relate to patches to block viruses, new known viruses. Now you have somebody, a user, not updating and protecting our network. That's the problem. This one area-wide has strongly recommended for the last two years, and we've said no. So it is in the budget at $2,880. But as you can see, when I add all these up, all these increases, we go from $45,000 to $75,000. Brutal. A lot of it has to do with the three years, and they, that's a huge. Plus, I, these, these maintenance and support contracts, they go between 10 to 20 percent increases every year. Every year you can count on it. They increase. 
Now, um, and then, okay, going down service contracts, you can see 30,000 that remains. It's actually I reduced it this year because we're using less area life. So there's about a $10,000 reduction built into that off of last year, which covers part of the software licenses. But it, it's also got that line in there has $5,500, which is a security assessment recommended by area wide. Say we could cut that out. I would say that would be an opportunity to cut. You could. We've gotten along without it so far. Well, is there, a there is a day of reckoning on all of this, and that is that's the caution I have. That is the caution I have. Thank 
important. There's, there's a lot of things that are important. We felt confident walking in here for the last three or four years where we didn't. Uh, what the kids were walking in, we didn't know what we had, what we would be doing. Not only the corrections, but not only we had more accurate information to both clients and the department. But it's not just... But it's close to what we all get around. We can make bets on what our year is going to be all the way into June of the next year. I don't know what the scale of my local conference is. Maybe this will stay in Illinois and come to the past and all the way down and all the way down. So, there you go. Moving on to the IT fund, and that is where I did request automation funds. That is, the system's expense there is $35,000 for two years. This is another thing that Area White has been recommending since we put the new server in here. A disaster recovery system. In other words, it's kind of a redundant server in the basement of the courthouse. Okay? Right now, our backup system is this. We took our old mail server and we made it a backup server in the server room. So everything, every night, after we all go home, it copies to the email server and then to a hard drive that we bought for about a thousand dollars. Okay? Two of them. Every morning, Amanda takes at lunchtime, she takes, she unplugs that hard drive, takes it to the bank, and puts it in our safety deposit box, and brings back the one from the night before to swap it out. That's our disaster recovery plan. The issue is, that hard drive she takes there doesn't include the application, the VMware, the logic, so it's just the data. So, Say we get hit by a tornado, we still have a several day recovery trying to reinstall, get copies of all the software, and doing all the setup back over again. It's a risk we've been gambling on for the last, two, well, forever we've had this. And 10 years ago, this was the way everybody did backup. It is not the way things are done now. It is a redundant system or a disaster recovery system somewhere else, somewhere out over the cloud. For us, it's in a different building. We felt, Area White feels like for the money we would spend. They'll sell us their cloud space, and we could send our data and all our setup and back up to their data center in Champaign. They believe it would be cost prohibitive. And not efficient over it, because then you've got your bandwidth, you're running on that bandwidth all the way to Champaign, all the time, all the time. So what they've requested we do, what they've recommended, is that we build a mini server in the courthouse. And what would happen is we would kind of, throughout the day, simultaneously, be writing to our servers here in this building and at the courthouse. So you have on-time, real-time backup of everything. So let's say this building gets hit by a tornado, we run immediately off of backup. The last year, they, two years ago with the new server, they recommended we do it, but we said no. Last year they recommended we do it, we said no. This year they came back and said, you really got to do it. $35,000. The IT committee recommended we do this. I went to um, the department and asked for money. And I found the money to be able to um, fund it. NIDA, who did not pay, ETSB did not pay for any. Um, when we did the server project, they were really low on funds. So they didn't pay for any of that and they didn't pay, they, so she offered up $10,000 as a one time. Um, Lisa Hines and Lisa Fancher both offered $10,000. And ICPHD has, since they've been here the last two years, given $10,000 for IT costs that's gone into here. I've made the assumption that will continue next year, but I don't know for sure. I haven't seen their budget. 
but I assume they would also be funding something. Don, if you know anything different, you can let me know. But there is $40,000. This project is estimated at 35. That funds this project to do that. the rate 
the percentage rate, and the wage state. And you can see in the lower left-hand corner, I've got the history going back to 2011. Our high point was 2013 when we paid 6.35% of the first $12,900. We've been paying off the tw first $12,950 the last three years. I assume the same for this next year. And I used a 1.25 rate, which is maybe maybe a little high, but a quarter of 1%, it doesn't make that much difference. So I left it at that to be safe. The levy, you could actually levy $5,000 or nothing and still be pretty covered pretty well. I need to take it down to zero, but that'll really be up to the tax department this fall. And our estimated expense for next year is in at 25000 this year. Um, we're pacing this year. We won't know for sure till the end of the year, but it's looking like just about $19,000. So very small. This fund has really um, the expense in here. If you look back, I mean, we were paying in 2013, 2012, 84,000, 91,000, and this year we're down to 19,000. So this is a bright spot for us. This is a zero levy fund, not impacted by the general fund, doesn't impact the general fund, and the general fund doesn't impact it. You levy the amount that you need. It's a zero levy fund. Next up is workers' comp. This fund, not so good, um, largely increased. We've been really lucky with flat or lowered um, rates over the last three years. We haven't had a bad... Um, uh, up even that's right. That's what's going to cause it. In last October, we had a deputy that had a workers' comp claim. He was off work for six months. He had a complete knee replacement. Ooh. Yeah. This three weeks ago, we had another one. Same thing. Everyone runs now. These guys got to chase them. They get hurt. So one of them fell chasing. He's off. We don't even know what's wrong. Yes, he, he is on crutches. He is off work on second loss time. Um, I talked to Randy Schultz on Thursday. He told me that we can... Already, Chubb has told us to expect somewhere between an 11 and a 23% increase in our premium for next year. Wasn't the first one. Once that second one hit, it's just not good. And then that was a lot more history. So, right. So, these insurance companies get back as I said, how do I come get back to it? And they do get the third grade. And that's what the insurance company will look at. They do the multiplication. Here's your bill. Right, right. I mean, we went from 107,000 in 2012 all the way down to 79,000 this year. So such a nice decrease. But for next year, I used 18%. I took the midpoint between 11% and 23%. I don't know. Oh, well, 17% is the midpoint. And it came up to 92,000 for next year. Hopefully.
So that's where we're at. Um, again, this is zero levy, so it funds itself. It's a separate levy line item. So that'll be up to the actual levy amount. It'll be up to the tax committee when that happens. Uh, Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It doesn't have an effect on the general fund, but it has an effect on all the taxpayers and their property tax. And that's why you really want to look at it and try and keep, we try to do a good job of keeping our rates low and, and watching things. Uh, I think a good example is the courthouse water damage, where, you know, we didn't just take the $12,000 and Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All these you have to watch and, and really be a good steward. This is a real problem. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, next. Group insurance is the next page. This one started out brutal. <coughs> um, remember <laughs> at the finance committee meeting on uh, last month, July 7th, July 6th? July 7th. Um, Susie Werner was here, our broker was here and said 10% increase. I put in the 10%, it resulted in another $65,000 in expense to us. Thursday she came back late in the afternoon and said um, she went back to the insurance company and asked them for rate relief based on our history, our claims history. Again, this is where claims history really impacts you and, and we all our employees being diligent and not, you know, overspending because it's insurance. Being healthy helps us. Um, they did give us rate relief. Thursday afternoon she said four and a half percent, but the rates we got on Friday were two minutes five. Now I'll tell you this. There is an insurance company that would like to to be back here. And so whenever I see that broker out and about, they always ask how happy we are with Homestar and what the opportunities would be to come back. So I just last week happened to see the broker at the gas station on my way to work. And of course, how are you with Homestar? Are you happy with them? Do you have your renewal? And I said, yeah, I'm not happy with our renewal because at this point they told us it's 10%. That was before Thursday. I literally didn't get it out of my mouth, 10%, and she looked at me and she said, take it. Take it. That is so low compared to what I'm seeing across the industry. You take that number and run. So the fact that they've now gotten us down to 5%, I think we're very lucky. <laughs>
That's a ten thousand dollar increase over this year. That's very, very, very good because it started at about fifty thousand last week or the week before. So the fact that it's down to ten thousand, one of the things that helps us is in the general fund. We went from a flat rate that employees pay fifty dollars a month, seventy dollars a month to a percentage, so that now employees are paying 25% of the cost. Mm -hmm. So we're not, we're sharing the pain with our employees. Just a note on our history. Years ago, we used to have that self insurance. From the, the one, one year we, uh, we were running out of time when we were done. We had talked about it and we'd stay in it. And if we would have stayed in it, our cost, would have been over a million dollars. And, and Jim Meyer and, and one thing in the shoulder did it was really good. We got out of that. So <laughs> we got into this. And even though it's many years later, we're still down to what, seven hundred? Under seven hundred thousand? Well the cost of total cost the total good. cost of fixed health fixed cost for health insurance. That's line 52330 for all the entities at the county, right? ETSB, Joint Dispatch, everybody is $743,000 for next year. $743,000. No, I don't think all the jobs are involved in health insurance. No, no, and that includes adding those, there are nine people in so, public health. Center. I mean, that was an emergency situation that worked well for the county, that we would have been I we couldn't have sweet well how we can make the most right. Five two three three O monthly fixed cost help. You look across there. Seven hundred and forty three thousand dollars. So we're we're doing an excellent job in getting this price out. That, that's that's the meaning. So the one thing that's left, and if we have to spare a little bit of time now, I'd like to go through it. Do you have questions on any of those? Anybody? Um, we didn't, we didn't, we skipped the treasurer to try and save time around 9 o'clock and get back on schedule. And that is uh, right after maintenance. So it's towards the front of your book. I have a question. If you go to the county treasurer, there you, go. you got it. I got one quick question. Sure. Yes, uh, probation. Not today. There tomorrow. Okay. She's standing in the hall. I've been standing there, and I didn't know if he's going to come in or what. He's tomorrow at 8:45. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why. Um, okay. Well, whatever puts you in, then I just. No. That's interesting because we changed okay. him to Tuesday because he's going to come today. I wonder well, if he's here. Should I go ask him? Yeah, go ask him. Cause right. If he's here, he may, and then wants to present today, he can. But <laughs> this means we'll be short of the world. We'll be fine. We'll be here, okay, friend? You just won't be happy about it. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so this, this, let's do the treasure and be all done with the Monday section. Okay. But um, Mindy is out of the office this week, so she just asked that um, we go through it on our own. So that is after maintenance. Um, let's see, county treasurer. Um, I do not. Oh shoot. No, I don't think I have. I think what I have is automation funds for county treasurer and postage, and I don't have the general fund portion. 
Maybe we should skip that. I'm not yeah, sure. You want to go back and do it tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it tomorrow while we copy it. Yeah.
department 110 that doesn't go into your department. Yeah. Sheriff GPS reimbursement um, account number 45140 that doesn't offset the expense in your department, but it hits the general fund revenue. So when they get GPS home consignment, they have to pay for it. So in total, it should zero out. They're for one time, they didn't do that. They didn't do it. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't look at this, you know, 
It's good. Good. It's good. good. It's good. Tomorrow will be a little bit here. Right. Even the press don't show up. Right. Well, at least you have them. Yeah. I should have just motioned you in because I, I took her out with the 